everyone, my name is Grand Slam Garen, and today we are going to look at one of the most important of the 12 principles of animation. Anticipation. So what is anticipation? Well, to start, let's take a look at a simple animation that I made of a stick man taking a run. So this animation has him start from a standstill and just jump right into his run animation. So you can see, he kicks off with quite a bit of energy and it seems kind of unrealistic and static. He is stiff as a board and then he shoots off. You don't get any sense of wind up. In real life, before you make any kind of action, your body will anticipate that action. Imagine a spring, before it bounces, it will compress. Before it releases, it will squish. That's the same principle we're applying here. So let's take a look at this same animation that uses the principle of anticipation. So you can see in this version, there is a real sense of buildup before the explosion of motion. He's got his leg up, like he's about to pitch a ball, his arms swing back behind him, and then when he finally explodes out running, you feel like he is a spring that just released all the tension. And that's the kind of feeling you want when you are making motion. You want it to feel like it is a release from a buildup. And you want to apply anticipation to any kind of motion, even if it's small. This is a very exaggerated example, but even something as simple as picking an object up requires a little bit of anticipation in order to feel right. You will notice your animations feel a lot more alive once you apply this principle. So you can see that simply by using the principle of anticipation, you can make your animations so much better. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing so we can see you in the next video. Thanks.